In this mod review, we're going to take a look at Outlaw Custom Peterbilt for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at Outlaw's custom Peterbilt for American Truck Simulator. Now this can be found at the actual Peterbilt truck dealer in, well I'm in Reno, but it can be found at the Peterbilt truck dealer. Now um, let's go to the customized configuration and check out what we can do. Now first of all I will warn you this mod does uh, have a lot of accessories, a lot of stuff to modify and it's gonna take a long time to do this so please be patient with me now if I do miss anything I do apologize the idea of these videos is just to show you what is available give you a good idea of what you can do and um, yeah it's just an it, give you an idea is all it is so let's go to the cabin first of all uh, we have got let's see so we've got the 36 inch cabin 63 inch 63 inch stand-up sleeper 72 inch ultra cab sleeper day cab day cab ultra cab so there you go there's a few different uh, choices there let's get a 36 inch sleeper now the chassis we've got again tons and tons and tons of chassis Excuse me. Uh, we've got the 6x4 chassis, 6x4 long, 6x4 long lowered, 6x4 lowered, 6x4 short, 6x4 short lowered, 8x4, 8x4 long, 8x4 long lowered, 8x4 lowered, 8x4 steer. So, uh, and oh, sorry, still more to go. 8x4 long, 8x4 steer long, 8x4 steer long lowered and 8x4 steer lowered there we go so there's tons to choose from guys uh, I'm going to go with let's let's go with 6x4 lowered long how about that now engines again we've got so many so many options here um, so we've got the 671 Detroit diesel there the uh, then we've got uh, the C15s the 3406 cat the 3408 which is something that we don't see a lot of anymore for some reason i'm not sure why uh the cummins it says 275 cummins i'm not sure which model that one is but anyway there's a triple four the n14's there open pipe isx now we're gonna have to listen to that one uh then we have c13 detroit diesel 60 series there then we have there's 60 series c15 the uh, another th uh, c15 there's the packer mx13 there detroit diesel 60 series the 8v92 that's going to be exciting c16 uh 6v is in there you can see there's heaps and heaps and heaps of options here um it's gonna take ages to get through it guys so I'm going to try and cut through as much as I can here. Um, what else have we got there? N14 there. We said that I think. Triple uh, four. Look, there's heaps of engines, guys. Heaps and heaps. Heaps, 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 heaps. There we go. There's that long list. Uh, now, transmissions. Look, again, guys, there's tons to choose from. Uh, Eaton full of six speeds, 10 speeds, 13 speeds, 15 speeds, 18 speeds uh you name it it's in there the maxi talks in there as well maxi talk 18 speed i'm going to go the eaton full 18 speed there interiors interior now this is uh we've seen this before in the uh the p389 custom um it's pretty much the same as that for the interior you've got an old dash and a new dash and you've got different colors of your old dash and new dash in there so you get to choose a whole heap of different colors and stuff like that so uh, now the old dash there again uh, a whole heap of different colors that you can actually choose from and uh, it looks really really good I don't know about the blue though I'm not a big fan of that um, I do however like the old school and I'm gonna leave it on the uh, black old school dash there there we go uh, now the paint jobs oh paint jobs if you think there's plenty of other stuff to excite be excited about well there's heaps of paint jobs in here to choose from and you can go for many different colors here 
any different colors black knight there's there's blues there's aquamarine basalt green white look at that grays and then you've got your custom metallic color as well so let's check to see if that's working properly one two uh and three yes you can see that that is working properly right there so which color do we choose today um i'm not sure i'm not sure i think i'm going to go with a custom metallic color and let's go and choose a uh a how about a dark gray we'll choose a dark gray and uh, almost make it so it's like a a black on certain angles and then over on the top there we'll put a a lighter gray how about that there we go it's looking kind of mean isn't it now uh over to accessories now whoa there is so many accessories it's unreal it really is um first of all we've got their front banner on the front there you can put oversize if you like your oversize you've got your flags on the side there if you want to add your flags right got that out of the road now then we've got bull bars if you want to add bull bars on the front you can do so and then you can also add in here many 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 different lights spotlights you name it look at all these lights here that you've got it is so many there's bumper guards there there's beacon lights there's there's heaps of stuff guys this list is crazy i mean i'm not sure why these are in here though look at that that looks a little bit silly so outlaw you might need to fix that mate <laughs> um yeah they do look a bit weird but anyway you can go and put heaps and heaps and heaps of lights on there if you want to have heaps of lights I'm trying to find uh where is it the bull bar there we go i'll remove the bull bar so we can see other stuff now we have uh, got bumpers so you got your uh, your standard bumper your texas rolled your texas rolled and clear uh bumper guides you've got american eagle style there you know your flat style a box bumper they call it uh many 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 different kinds here even your old school ones even a bull bar there um which is more like your aussie bull bar there isn't it very cool but i'm going to keep this nice and clean and i'm going to go for a texas rolled clean end there we go texas rolled clean end and uh, then you can go and put on all sorts of different lights if you want to have lights on there or whatnot uh, you, there you can also put on bumpers if you want to have uh, not bumpers um uh, where is it mud flaps mud flaps there's the mud flaps on there as well but not sure where they've gone so but anyway they're there now something i did see on the bumper guides there you've got skulls that's pretty cool isn't it some some cool skulls um now let's keep going i'm going to leave that the way it is the lower grill guard it says uh then we have the grill and moving right along through those grills here now this is the same as the 389 that we've seen at the start of the year um plenty of options here that you can choose from as we skip through some of these trying to get through as fast as i possibly can it all depends on what you like really but there's plenty to choose from there's even this one here i saw that is interesting isn't it that looks like it's off the phantom but um yeah a very interesting mod there and uh, i'm wondering if there is a bumper bar that you can fit to that i, I didn't directly see one but um you know it would be really interesting if there was a custom bumper bar that fit that properly and it doesn't look like there is but um yeah it's well there you go you can just have it with none it looks good like that so there you go there is a couple of different grills that you can actually have there uh, i'm going to remove that one and go up to let's just go to no not that one no no that one's a bit too no 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 there you go that one will do there and i better go back to that texas roll bumper there we go that's what we wanted um look at all the lights you can put on it's just unreal 
Now, for the headlights, there is your old school uh, 351 style headlights. Uh, your 359 square. Uh, there's your double square. There is your 359 style round or oval shaped ones. Then you've got the more modern style 389. And you can see that there are so many different options here. It is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, there we go. There's... There we go. And it says Outlaw Custom Style. I'm going to use the Outlaw Custom Style. I think they look pretty cool. Now, over to over to here, we've got the logo on the front there. Peterbilt. Peterbilt, that looks pretty cool. Some jaws. And uh, then we've got some teeth there. So you can see different colored teeth. And then there's Viper 2. It's good that Outlaws kept the original Viper 2 logo there. I, I think that's really good that, he, that he's done that. Um, I'm going to go with Peterbilt logo on there. I think that's pretty cool. Now, up the top here is your ornament. On the top, you can have the chrome hood ornament, the flying goddess, or the duck. I'm going to use the duck today. Uh, the mirrors on the side there. And it might be better if I actually have a look at those over here. Where is it? There we go. You can see them there. They look pretty good, but I'm not going to use them today. And uh, then we have the front. The front guard. Custom guard there. And uh, you can, I'm just flipping through some of these here so you can see. It might be better if I try there. There we go. You can see them better. Like that. And many different kinds. There's your heavy duty type one. One with a lollipop on there. They're like racing ones, they are. Again, they're like, remind me of the Phantom ones. They do. Very interesting. And look, those have got headlights in them. If you want to remove those, you can. And put those headlights in there. Very cool. Um, I'm going to stick with those ones for today. They look pretty good. Now, uh, got to try and keep up, follow this pattern here, because uh, <laughs> easily you can miss stuff. Hood ornaments, a couple of hood ornaments there. Um, I particularly like that one. There is the bug deflector on the top there that you can put. Uh, a couple of different kinds there, many different colors. And there's even the chrome ones as well that you can put on there. I'm actually just going to put on, where is it? Not Hoodwing. That one there. Bug Shield. There we go. That looks pretty cool. It has the Peterbilt logo on there. Very nice. Uh, that was the logo on the side. There we have the rivets. You can have no rivets. Rivets there or painted rivets. Let's have some chrome rivets. Now that is for the bonnet. It's basically a little strip so you can uh, hook it along the top or just have handles. Handles, the, the, uh, the strip of hinges, and then both. So I'm going to put both on. Uh, what have we got there? That is the air cleaner. Now, for those of you boys who love to have your snorkels, you can have your snorkels with this one. Uh, there we are, right there. If you scroll all the way down through all this stuff, which is just crazy, the amount of stuff that you can have on this. And where is it? I'll find it soon. There it is, air pipe. It says air pipe, but it's snorkels. We call them snorkels here in Australia. There you go. There is your air pipe. But um, for those of you who are not really too keen on that, you can actually go through and you know change your different um, uh, air, air cleaners as well there's your air lights as well see that the lights you can actually change the light color which is interesting if we turn those on there we go that might work a bit better see that's the air cleaner light isn't that cool it shows up different colors that's really really nice I like that uh, we'll just choose it as uh, yellow I guess and then we got air cleaner so we go back to the air cleaner again uh and you can just go and you know choose a heap of different air cleaners 
I mean, there is tons, and the, a lot of them do have the ability to put the air, um, the snorkel on the top of it as well, which is very nice. Um, I'm actually going to put, let's see, um, which one should I use? Uh, let's choose that one there, and we'll put on the chrome air pipe, the snorkel. Chrome snorkel, chrome snorkel, there we go. And then you can go through and add on a heap of lights. But I'm not going to do that now. There's We just got way too much to get through. Um, Alright, down the side there was the uh, step. The front step. So you can choose different uh, steps there. As you can see. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to go with a simple one for today. Which uh, I'll just use that one there. Uh, I did that step while I thought about it. So there we go. Driver's plate, co-driver's plate. Uh, we have the window trim. Different kinds of window trim that you can use there. There we go. And um, look, I'm just going to leave it on that one there. Window window shields, the, the dots on the inside. We'll have a look at those later. Don't disregard the V8 sound in the background. That is my neighbor who's decided to start up his V8 just while I'm recording. Thank you, mate. <laughs> um, there we go. There's a few different visors there. And watch. Listen, he'll go roaring down the street very soon. Um, there's a few different sun visors there that you can choose. And you notice that all of them you can, well, most of them, you can have the lights on them, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Uh, that one there. Yeah, these ones here have already got lights on them. I'm going to go something simple and use that one there and uh, for lights uh, look too many to choose from I think I'll leave them for now and we'll come back to those lights maybe maybe at a later date I'll, I'll maybe uh, if it wins the weekly drive we'll have a look at those I'll put some on there's your interior light for those who like the interior uh, there is the roof lights if you like to have them and um, you can go and change those lights too by the way if you wanted to change them add change look at look at all these different selections you can use here it's just nuts it really is beacons now beacon lights some of these don't work i'm not sure what's happened here these ones don't work so i don't know what the go is uh then we've got a couple of different beacons here air conditioner and there's the uh the the whatever that one is big t big t is in there and uh, look I think I'm gonna just leave it on that one there yeah that one there I'll do that's fine uh, then we have a light bar if you want to add light bar there's horns or you can have that Peterbilt logo on the back there as well uh, I'm just gonna leave it with the the light bar and now it's it's the task of finding what you want here so I've got to go find horns to put on there there we go, right down the bottom. I knew they were there because I was looking before. Uh, there we go. There's the horns on the top there. Up the top is the antenna. You can have forward antennas or straight up antennas. Whichever you want. Wing on the back. There's many different kinds of wings. Uh, you can have another lot of beacon lights if you want to have another lot. Uh, old school type um, wing. Beacon light, beacon light, turbo wing. There you go, I'm going to have a turbo wing on there. An aero kit, if you want to have the aero kit on the back, you can. Very nice. Uh, what do we got there? There's the main mirrors. So you can change the different styles of main mirrors that you like. Me, in particular, I like the, the further out, the better, the more you can see. Uh, there is carrier. That is the little uh, conditioner on the back there. Thank you very much and um what else we got we got window trim yes we've done that we did the driver's plate yes um you, you can see how it gets a bit confusing because you shuffle around so much there's the step there is the tanks so if you want to have a look at the tanks there different kinds of tanks you can put on and there you go there's a few nice ones I'm going to go with uh, chrome tanks. Let's see. Yep, those ones there will do. 
what have we got there we have got the frame you can paint the frame red there's black red color or custom uh, I'm going to choose just black will do for now there's the uh, the air conditioner again now what was that dot up there that was the main mirrors uh, for the antennas right spinning around a little bit there is the exhaust now the exhaust on this is phenomenal there is some crazy exhaust on here and some really cool ones so as we flip through these I'm gonna do this really quickly just have a look to see the different kinds of exhaust that are in here uh, going through nicely look at that there's some pretty cool ones there there you go some massive ones and what else we got there's heaps of that they look really cool they're really nice there you go they're nice as well and what else we got there we go there's some some smaller ones there smaller ones pointing towards the back heaps so many different options it's unreal it really is now these ones are actually really cool they got little slits down the side that's actually very nice and uh, then we have some machine gun ones which I think are really cool I love the machine gun look that's really good now there was some I may have missed it there was some that were really really tall they were so tall that they actually have a dot for you to put I don't know where they are they're in here somewhere they've got a dot where you can actually put on a light right at the very top they're that tall <laughs> so just let's say so low-flying planes don't hit your exhaust <laughs> Um, look, I'm going to put on those. I think they look absolutely awesome, those exhausts. The machine gun exhausts. Um, then moving around here, what was that? That was the main mirrors. That's the driver's plate. Uh, have I missed something along here? I don't know. Half the time it's very hard. Uh, let's go over to the rear fender there. There's many different kinds of rear fenders that you can choose from. And there you go. Have a look at those. Heaps to choose from. Even some very nice custom ones as well, which are awesome. They really are very nice. A lot of these, so. Um. I don't know which ones to choose to be honest so I'm gonna be a real stickler with this one and stick to some stupidly ones that I know I like those they're very good and I'm gonna stick with them so uh, there's the fender uh, the fifth wheel is many different choices you can choose here with plating and the fifth wheel uh, probably be better if I move that up there there you go um, I am going to choose which one that one there I think I'll choose yeah I'll just stick to that one there now on top there you can actually put a plate or a cover uh, if you so choose not gonna do that today we'll leave that alone now um, spinning it round actually before I spin it round let's go back to let's go to the front here and we'll have a look at the rims and tires now uh, one thing that I will warn you guys with these rims and tires, I had um, uh, a few different crashes where every time I went to change the tires or the rims, it bombed out. So be very careful. Uh, there's an American tire there. There's Diablo tire, which is the uh, custom one. When you choose Diablo tires, which is probably what I'll choose, you choose them first, then you choose the rim because the rim won't come up unless the tires are on there. So it's very particular about that. Uh, then we have the uh, invisible tires and we have Michelin tires there and US tire and Roadmaster and there's plenty of different tires there. Um, those are really cool. I actually saw a set of these come into work and they look really cool in real life. So um, probably very expensive too. I didn't see the price. Now, uh, I'm going to go these rims here, the Diablo rims. 
and now with the rims here I'm going to just say there's a lot of rims here um, I did have a cr few crashes with this so you just have to be really really careful any of the rims that I couldn't actually you know didn't have a, a, a little tag here they seem to be the ones that were breaking so I don't want it to crash while I'm doing this mod review because it takes a lot to set this up and it really is a pain uh, if it crashes so uh, just be careful when you are playing with it that you um, don't click on the wrong one look I'm gonna skip a lot of these a lot of those are standard ones those ones there are pretty cool um, and then there's Diablo right so I'm gonna stick with Diablo there's a couple of kinds of Diablo there uh, and we'll leave it with the as it is there now for nuts there is plenty look at all these custom nuts you can use it's crazy it really is you can even go no nuts if you want to have no nuts on there uh, and then we have a cover as well there's no Diablo hub I noticed so uh, if we just take out no hub and uh, then there's no cover you can actually put in there so uh, for Diablo so just be careful again there's a whole heap of options you can put in there I'm going to just skip over to the rear here and again with the tires there you go you'll be able to see that there's American tires there's the Diablo tires US tires Dimax Michelin and there's those Michelin ones I was saying that we saw at work they would look really nice but again I'm gonna go with Diablo um these rims on the back here be careful like here there's one there that that i had a problem with so be careful um gonna just select these and i'm v being very cautious now because these i don't want this to crash right now because it will be a problem there we go and look skip those ones those ones there I caused it to crash US wheel they look pretty cool the uh, Alcoa ones and there's some more there that you can paint uh, let's skip through those there's those off-road type wheels again skip those ones that don't have a thumbnail there and then down to the Diablo there we go that was the safest that's the safest way of getting through there guys um, otherwise you could end up with problems take out the nuts because the Diablo has already got its own nuts and uh, the hub as well you need to take out because look at all those hubs and options it's already got its own hub so again let's go and put those Diablo tire on go down to Diablo rim there we go take out the nuts so no nuts and no hub there we go and that looks proper right now whew, thank goodness we got through that that was actually very scary for me because I didn't really want it to crash right in the middle of that mod review that'd be horrible um, right so there's a few different custom ones that you can have on the back which look pretty cool and there's a couple you can look let's have a look at this one you can change the different you know mud flaps and stuff on there so passing side suicide see they, I like those mud flaps I think they're great and what else we got more custom stuff haul an ass it's always a good one and there we go look I'm going to choose those ones there for today and then up the top here we can go for deck plate we tilt that up it goes deck plate all the way along and there's heaps and heaps and heaps of different options you can have here which is really good options guys options are great it means more and more fun times where is it there we go that's the one there I like I think that is brilliant on this truck right uh, there's a side step over there if you want to add a toolbox or a side step which is horns there for some reason I don't know why um, toolboxes and 
there you go there's um, heaps of different options there horns pa pointing down look I'm just gonna go with some simple steps make it nice and easier um, oh that's your uh, toolbox that's what that was I was trying to think what was that uh, that's your toolbox different positions where you your, um, not toolbox your uh, airlines a box for your airlines they go in there and uh, I'm gonna put that one there but there's many 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 different kinds you can choose here and it is really cool let's go with that one there um, then we've got headache rack if you want to add a headache rack or toolbox or whatever you want on the back there you can go and do that and look there you go there's plenty of options to choose that is for the rear window if you want to add just a little louvers or something like that I actually like the louvers to be honest I think the louvers are great and then we have the backside which you can go crazy with all these different uh, lights and etc you know you saw before how many different ones there was it's just nuts all right um, I think that is pretty much it there's the mirror on the side if you want to add that but it's pretty pointless if you've got the the uh, window thing there right that is pretty much it that looks absolutely awesome uh, I'm gonna go to the inside now because that is taking a long time to do that it really did now uh, over the top here the area is the driver's plate that is the mirrors which you can see from there you can see that they work that that one works pr a bit better uh, that's your gauges there's just one there standard you can go and add in different trimming to your gauges as well so greens paints um, you know reds yellows all sorts of stuff but I'm gonna stick with chrome uh, your steering wheel man there's so many many different kinds of steering wheels you can put on this it is craziness it really is and it's easy, even got the uh, SCI steering wheels in there as well which are always good to have and if you've got the dragon pack you can put the dragon steering wheel look at these there's that chain steering wheel we've seen before I've uh, added this in one of my uh, uh, in, in a weekly drive and now look at all the different options it's got gold you know it's cool it is really cool Genesis there's heaps of different uh, steering wheels uh, the classic sort of old well there's a more modern one anyway you, you get the idea there's heaps to choose from look what do, what do I choose today I think I'm just gonna choose that one I like those I think they're really cool that's for the the uh, the the bumper uh, there's your gauges as we've already seen those that is your air cleaner there's your accessory on the bonnet that's your bug catcher there's your hood trim we've already selected those that is your mirror on the front there your dash panel you can go and choose all sorts of different wood and accessories well you know I mean different wood styles different you know painting and stuff like that um, I honestly don't know I'm just gonna choose that there that just looks yeah that's fine shifter there you go you've got your crazy crazy shifters here man that is nuts double shifter double shifter that's missing a texture um, you know there's all sorts of different textures unless it's meant to be was that meant to be that one there twin stick yeah that is definitely it looks like it's missing a texture there um, heaps of different twin twin sticks you've got there isn't there depends what can you live with oh look there's the knuckles brass knuckles I must have missed them what can you live with really um, I don't know look this is just crazy why don't we go with no that's too too big no too annoying no look I'm just gonna go with uh, a standard one and we'll just leave it at that easy shift where is it there it is there that'll do otherwise we'll be here forever um, over the, over there is you've got 
your dash. Now you can go and paint your dash different colours with this. Um, I, I need to start at the top. There's black, there's blues, charcoal, green, you know, all sorts of different colours. Light green, red, tan, paint, um, red, standard. Let's just leave it standard. I'm going to be boring and leave it standard. Um, there's your dash, dashboard dots, which you can go and put in there. You can add heaps of stuff. Works with Sissel's Mega Pack, which is really cool. And what am I going to put in there? Look, let's just put a cup. How about that? Uh, there's your co-driver's plate. Up the top there is your dashboard windshield dots, which you can go and add all sorts of different things from Sissel's Mega Pack. Uh, sun visor, which we've seen. Uh, what else have we got in there? Oh, that is your window. Oh, window trim. Window trim, is it? Oh, what's. Okay. That must be for the. Oh, that's for the side there. That's what that is. There we go. Um, window trim three. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I honestly, I don't know. There you go, window trim paint. That'll do. Uh, right now, main mirrors. We've already had a look at those. And there is the sun vi the um, side mirror. There is the back. And there's the louvers up the back there as well. You can go and change those. We've had a look at those already. Right. I think that's pretty much it. If I have missed anything, guys, I do apologize. Uh, it's just this mod review. is just to give you an idea on what you can actually do. My hand is gone numb for some reason. <laughs> from holding it in the one spot <laughs> all right let's go confirm that was that was a lot of lot of options look at that that is so awesome that is so cool uh let's do a trade-in on the last mod thank you very much okay thank you and let's have a look on the outside here that looks very very nice very nice indeed love those exhausts love those stacks if they rotate around, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna scream like a little girl. I think that's gonna be awesome. A um, lot of little dots underneath there on the the turbo wing. I don't know what the go is with that. Oh, look at that! Looks so nice. I reckon I could drive that every day. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Looking around, can't have a passenger. That's a shame. Um, we're a bit low down. I can't really see anything, so I'm going to pop the seat up a bit. Give myself a bit of a... There we go. That's as high as we go. Oh, dear. Um, change that view to 76. There we go. Uh, F4, I did do, did that, guys, to change that. So, let's jump on the outside. That looks schmick. And let's start her up. Just increase that volume a little bit. There we go. Turn those lights on. There we go. That look, that would look really good with a whole heap of lights all over it, I reckon. Horn. Air horn. No air horns. Interesting. Uh, wipers. Wipers are working. That's very, very good. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, flashes. Turn the flashes on. Yes. High beams. Yep. High beams are working. As we spin around and have a look at the back. Brake lights, yes, and reverse lights. Very nice. That looks great. Uh, what else have we got? Beacons. Yes, there's our disco lights there. And uh, don't have any drop axles. And that is pretty much it. So, looks nice. Let's jump on the inside here. Uh, I'm going to save this before we go any further. We'll do a save on that. Pewter. Oh. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. There we go. Outlaw Peterbilt is what we we'll call that one. Uh, back into there. Now, let's have a look. Uh, now, I need to push display. So, let's hope it does not crash. It didn't crash. 
That's good. Excellent. Whew, I always get nervous when when that when I'm looking at that. All right, so there we go. Now my head's in the right position. Turn off those. Uh, wipers are working, which is great. And let's go and check out the engines. Now, this is going to take a long time again, guys. So have some patience here. It will take a long time to check out all these engines. Oh, my goodness. Look at that trailer. There's my trailer I bought ages ago. It's just hanging out over there. It's like it's had a bit of an accident, doesn't it? Alright, now... Spin that around, and then we'll go... Over to here. Look at that steering wheel. That looks great. Alright, now... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, there we are. Now let's, um, oh, before I go into there, let's jump on the outside and uh, check out that engine. There we go. Now let's jump on the inside here and check out other engines. Now this may take a while. Uh, so that was the Packer. That was the Packer we had to listen to. Let's go to the 671. Tell you what, these modders love keeping me busy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's like a racing engine. That's crazy. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, let's go the uh, Cat C15, King of the Hill. Oh, man. Listen to that. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that one. I don't mind that one. It's very, it's very cool. All right, back over inside. Let's have a listen to uh, three four zero six. Try that. Start her up. That's pretty cool. I love that engine sound. Listen to that. That's the cams. Big lumpy cam in there. That is cool. I like that. I love that. I think that is very nice. Um, oh, no, not truck configuration. Oh, yes, it was truck configuration. What am I doing? Um, then we go to the uh, 3408. Confirm. Thank you. And let's start her up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, um, 3408, the uh, Cummins 275. So many different engines. Now, that sounds like a whippersnipper, like a weed whacker. <laughs> A very big weed whacker, it sounds like. And what else have we got here? The 444, the triple four. Now that's using the same sound as one of the other ones, so that's a shame, but anyway. And what else do we have here? The N14. Do we have a look at the N14? No, we haven't. Confirm. Thank you. Spin that around. Yeah. All right. So that's using the same one as well. And what else we got? Um, open pipe. Here we go. Oh, let's have a listen for this one. This is going to be good. I'm expecting a lot from this one. Ho oh, ho, listen to that.
That is really cool. I like that. What's it sound like inside? Yeah, I like that. That's my favourite one. Right there. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. All right, let's have a look over here. Engine, back to engine. Um, open pipe. There's another open pipe with that. Oh, I wonder if it's the same. Confirm. Let's try it. Too many different options, guys. Too many. Too many options. Well, there you go. There's a... I think that's exactly the same sound. And we'll try another one over here. So, uh, the ISX signature. I think um, I'm going to start... Have to skip a few of these because we get... Just get the idea that there's heaps here to choose from. Um, what else we got here? Yes, steam inventory. The uh, C13. I might skip that one. Uh, Detroit Diesel 60 series. We'll have a quick look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that 60 series sound. Um... What else have we got in here? Detroit Diesel 60 Series, CAD C15 60 Series, uh, the C15 Tuned. There's the C15 400, Packard we heard. Uh, King of the Hill, Detroit Diesel 60 Series. Yes, we heard that one. The 8V, did we hear the 8V? Let's just quickly have a another go if we, if we did. I think we did, but just to be on the safe side. There we go. No, we didn't actually hear that one. Uh, what else we got here? Man, that steam inventory thing's annoying when you're doing this. Uh, Cummins ISX, the uh, 6V. 6V, confirm. Let's have a look at that. We're only halfway through the list. This is this is major, major long list. All right, uh, back in here again. Let's have a look at what else we've got. Uh, the Cummins, Packer, uh, 671. Uh, look, I'm going to skip a few of these guys because there's heaps in here. 671. There is so many to, to choose from. It is crazy. Look at that. Yeah, look, that's, that's fine. Look, I'm going to go back to gonna go back to my favorite one there which was the open pipe ones but um, there is just to this was just to give you an idea of how many different kinds there were guys it's like heaps heaps of different kinds there and it'll keep you entertained for ages where is it now king of the hill 60 series no it was up the front here wasn't it 671 king of the hill we had to listen to that uh it says open pipe where's open pipe i probably passed it have i no there's uh there's chipped and tuned so set oh um okay it was there Chipped, chipped. There's so many here, it's just, yeah, crazy. Maybe it might be too many, I don't know. Yeah, look, I'm just going to have to just select any one of them because there's, I've gone through the list three times now and I, I can't seem to see open pipe now. Tune, C15 tune, 500. No, it was there. What's happened? I, I don't know what's happened there. Chipped and tuned, Detroit Diesel, chipped and tuned. Let's just put that one on there. Um, I, I don't know. I, I can't find those open pipe ones now, so I don't know what's happened. So let's just um, take it for a test drive now. 
just want to check the errors. There are a few errors here that we've um, that I've noticed uh, to do with the actual mod, but it should be okay. Um, hopefully, Outlaw can fix these uh, in the future. So, uh, but that's yeah, just just for um, just so you, you can you understand, there is some some issues there. Man, that is loud, isn't it? I'm just going to take this straight across the grass here. Just turn that down a bit. There we go. I take this straight across the grass because uh, too much to turn. <laughs> there we go. Imagine hauling a load with this. It's going to be fun. Nothing coming. Oh, yeah, there is, but doesn't matter. got a lot of get up and go that's for sure whoops slipped the gear okay now let's listen for the banana break there you go there's the banana break and look this is easy to drive I'm not having any problems here I'm going up the ramp here in sixth this is it's easy so easy to drive I could drive this all day, I really could. No problems at all. And, um, I mean, look, it looks great, it sounds great, it's got so many options, it is absolutely crazy. It really is. So, the thing is, guys, is it worthy of the weekly drive? Well, look, that's not up to me, that's up to you. So, if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts guys it really does um, I, I really do apologize for the long video this is a massively long video this mod itself is huge okay so there, there is guaranteed some stuff I did miss but um, again I apologize for the, the it's just the video is getting too long it, it really just is so much to, to offer this mod so guys look that is pretty much it if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the <coughs> oh dear <coughs> oh, i choked there for a second if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and I'm 10-10 on the side. And remember, game on.